In the dark of night, on 13 June 1942, a German submarine rose to the surface off Long Island, New York. Four men in German military uniforms made their way to the beach, ditched their uniforms for civilian clothing and left the beach. They were Germans who'd grown up in the USA but then returned to Germany after Hitler came to power. They were noticed by the US Coast Guard. Two got away and made their way to New York City and from there to other parts of the USA. Three nights later, four more Germans arrived on the Florida coast in the same manner. The six who avoided capture set out on missions of sabotage within the USA. The two Germans who had been caught immediately confessed to the FBI. This led to the others being rounded up before any real harm was done. They were taken into custody, but they were not treated as prisoners of war. Instead, they were treated as unlawful belligerents and put to trial in a military commission. They challenged their military detention by a writ of habeas corpus, which is used by someone who claims they're being jailed unlawfully. It ended up in the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the USA. The court found that the military commissions were constitutional and the detention of the men was valid, but that's the boring bit. The interesting bit was what the court had to say about the distinction between lawful and unlawful belligerence. The court said, The law of war draws a distinction between the armed forces and the peaceful populations of belligerent nations, and also between those who are lawful and unlawful combatants. Lawful combatants are subject to capture and detention as prisoners of war. Unlawful combatants are subject to trial and punishment by military tribunals. An enemy combatant who, without uniform, comes secretly through the lines for the purposes of waging war by destruction of life or property is generally deemed not to be entitled to the status of prisoner of war, but is subject to trial and punishment by military tribunals. All eight of these Germans were convicted and sentenced to death. The two who confessed had their sentences commuted and were deported to West Germany after the war. The others were executed in the electric chair less than two months after their arrest. Mm -hmm.